Yo, it's Supreme Bigger Figure, Big Cap, the war and the club king. You know what it is. You checking out the hip hop nucleus. Going in the tunnel was a was a was an experience within itself because it was it was it was crazy when you when you got there because the guys went in on one end of the block. Like the tunnel was on 27th between 11th and the West Side Highway. So all the guys line was on 27th Street you know, within the block, but the girls' line was around the corner on the west side highway. So if you came with your boys and you came with girls, it's no telling, you know, if everybody got, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, everybody got in or not, you know what I'm saying? And remember back then, everybody ain't had cell phones and all of that shit and everything, you know what I'm saying? You was lucky if you was like us, we had two ways and shit like that then. But, you know, most of you, you ain't have no cell phones or none of that, so you couldn't go, so you ain't know until you got in, you know what I'm saying, and be like, damn, what happened now? You know what I'm saying? And everything. But that line, and it was crazy because every week it was 500 girls free to get in the tunnel. Like, them doors used to open like 9 o'clock back then. It was no like, now nah, clubs open at 11 o'clock now. And anything you know. Back then, the club, nine o'clock, yo, that line, the girls' line, and then most of the dudes, you know what I'm saying? You was back there. The guys' line, you had the, you had the. Um, first of all, the line was so long, so if you knew you, you had to pay to get up front in the line. Then you get up front in the line. Then you had to pay to get in the club too, you know what I'm saying? So now, by the time you get up, you know, in the club, you might be down a hundred already, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure you get in there because, and then remember every week it used to be like 2,500, 3,000 people from all over in there, you know what I'm saying? So that the, the outside was crazy, but we used to come up, it was a parking lot on 26 in the West Side Highway. Poppy and them knew us, we was good. We came right in there, we parked the cars, then we come walking down the block. And then they used to, when we got there, they used to stop everything, the rope and everything. And I, and I kid you not, choke, no joke to tell you, mellow and them will tell you, Every week I'll come in the tunnel with like 20, 30 people, man. All my dudes, all my Brooklyn cats, all my Far Rockaway cats, Mark Murray, Sterling, these dudes was the, the head and the manager of the club, head of security and everything. They used to stop everybody the line. They used to let us walk right through with all my dudes, 20, 30 niggas every week, yo. We used to come in there. And then I used to go in through the girls' side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the dudes that get in there, it was like getting in getting in Central Book and Rikers Island. That's where the metal detectives started. You had to take off your shoes and everything. They checking you for razors and this and that, everything. And then the Funny thing, when you going in, they put a sign up there, wear your jewelry at your own risk. A big sign up there. They tell you because it was, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. It was like, it was the, the, the tunnel, you'll see, it was people from all the boroughs and Jersey, Connecticut. My mans and them used to drive up, drive down from Boston. My other mans and them used to come up from VA and Philly every week for this tunnel thing, man. I'm telling you, bro. Joe, no joke. Yeah. It's Joe, no joke. Let's go. Joe, no joke. Chicken, Joe, no joke. Choke, no joke, nigga, choke, no joke. I know this industry 
chick with the blog. Yeah. When I got exclusives, I hit to all. Let's go.